so in this tutorial we are going to look at how we can create a drag and drop activity in powerpoint using hyperlinks for students so we have items in group a and items in group b we want a student to match these items so a student can click yellow and match it with red or blue and match it with blue so automatically this is the response that will come the third option will be filled because you cannot change your options now we can restart this game so maybe this time the student pick yellow and fix it on yellow then blue on blue on blue then automatically it means it's called everything correct so yeah other options yellow on blue then red on red automatically this is also the results the person will get so how do we create an activity like this using hyperlinks in powerpoint and animations let's see how we can do this from scratch so already we have powerpoint open here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click right here and go to new then i'll select a blank presentation now i'm going to delete all of these i don't need them i don't need them then also i'm going to insert my shapes so i use a circle so i'll click on that then draw a circle if you want to draw a circle you can hold down the control button control plus shift button then you you draw it now i can change this color to any color i want so let's say this is um, I want it to be blue then I can also add some effects to it um, I add some effect to it yeah, anything of your choice uh, then I can duplicate this then I'll change if you want to duplicate yes you can right click on it then you okay it's not in the right it is not in these options so if you want to duplicate you just click the shape then you press you hold the control key and press D on the keyboard so I'm going to change this um, to red. Good. Then I'm going to change. I'm going to duplicate this one too. Then I can change it to yellow. Good. So I have this here. now i'm going to i'm going to arrange the test so you can go to insert then you can click this and you type your test here so you can type the colors type the colors and then you select the font that you want and you can duplicate this and type all the colors so you can also add another text box then you type let's say this is group A So after doing all this 
we can do all this we can change the test to times new roman then you can underline it so all the formatting here you can duplicate this then you type the group b over there good so you can rearrange this anyhow you want then bring the yellow in the middle or the red to the top anyhow you want to rearrange it in the group you can do that so you also in group a you can Then you can also do something like this. So, any way you want to arrange them, you can rearrange them so that you can swap this and that. You can swap this and that. Yeah, any way you want to arrange it, you can do that. So, after doing this, then you need to create the possible options that you may have. So, you just have to duplicate this slide. You duplicate this slide. So, if to duplicate this slide, you can right click on it and click duplicate slide. Then you arrange the outcomes neatly here. So yellow, blue, red. So you do until you can duplicate this as well. Then you can swap this and this yellow, blue over here. So you duplicate this as well and rearrange it. You keep duplicate duplicate until you get all your possible options, all your possible outcomes. Then you can you can insert another shape here. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this here any way you want to do it then i'll change the fill to let me use let me use light green then you can rotate it you can rotate this like this good mm. then so this is all correct it's all correct and so uh, I can copy this and bring it here. This is correct, but this is wrong. So I can go to insert, then I'll select a shape for wrong. Um, I prefer to use this here, uh, something like this. Good. And you rotate it slightly, and then you can change the fill red to red, sure, or any color you want. You can duplicate this and fix it here. So you have to do this until you get your possible outcomes. Then now you have to start hyperlinking, but before that. We need to do some trick for instance if i if you click on yellow it must behave as if it is moving towards this of the this direction and also it must 
escape or it must vanish from this slide so the trick is just to duplicate this then you delete the yellow here so it looks as if it has vanished so when you are in slideshow and this moves to this it looks as if it has vanished so that is the the trick there then what else now when you are here you can again duplicate this then over here on the third slide you need to create some animation there so i'm copying this and i'm pasting it on the third slide so here i'm going to add animation let's animation so i'm going to choose any animation that will suit me so i can go here then i choose i can choose spara in so choose spara in so after choosing spara in this have to behave in a way that it keeps moving until you click something here so that it moves to that position so how do you do that to achieve that effect you have to go to oh, the animation pane then you click here go to effect options then you go to the timing this one it should start after previous then this one is you keep repeating until you click so that is how it's going to behave as i going to behave then also then also when you click you should get a slider when you click it will link to where you clicked so that that yellow will be on it so i'm going to duplicate the first slide again i'm going to duplicate the first slide then i'm sending it to the fourth the fourth position the fourth yeah this position no let me put it in the fifth position anyway the position does not matter so long as you know what you are doing the position does not matter so you are going to use hyperlinks so it doesn't matter the positions good so over here over here uh, what did I do? Hmm. I think I didn't duplicate all. So let me duplicate again. Good. So I duplicated that slide and I'm moving it into any position. It can be in any position at all. It can be in any position. So that after the animation when you click this has to move to where you click so i want it to move to this position so i'll drag it there so that in the sequence of animation or in slideshow when you click this and you click this it looks as if it has moved to that position so that is all the trick that you can use to do all your hyperlink all uh, all your uh, drag and drop activity so after creating the slide like this the next thing you're going to do is that you have to do hyperlink so for instance if i click this it has to move to this so how do you do that how do you do that you have to go to insert you have to go to insert so this is what i want i wanted to click this so that the the writing will move from here to this so i'll select this and i'll go to insert when i go to insert i'll go to hyperlink when i go to hyperlink i'll i'll click place in this document then I'll select the slide that 
that is having the yellow on uh, the yellow on the blue so this slide now i need to add a tip so that when the user hovers over the the tip it will tell him what to do so i will click this i'll click this and i'll write click to drop click to drop good so i'll click i'll click ok now let's assume we are here let's assume we are here so if i go to slash show from from current slide you see how this will be moving to be even like this until I click this wow so it has moved there so you have to repeat all these processes until you get all your results done then you now go and edit the background you can edit the background so you can let's say go to um, you can go to the design then you go to format background then you can select any background you want so i i like this so this was, this was what i chose uh -huh. so when you do all this when you take your time to do all this you get something like this now let me talk about this one how to do this one to press this button here you can just simply go to you can just simply go to this page this is the result page so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to insert a button and that button is in the shapes group so it's a command button so action button so I pick an action button that is a custom action button. I can customize it and I'll click wherever I want it to be. So I have to link this, use hyperlink. So I have to link this to the first slide because it's like my home page. My first slide. The first slide is like my home page. Then I'll click OK. So you can now enlarge this. Then you can type anything you want in it. So let's say restart game. Restart game. Restart game. So now you can just go to the format, format tab. Then you can just format it the fill. You can format it to any 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 color you want. So I chose the lemon green. Is it the green? I chose the green. Then I now go to the the, the home tab. Then you can change the the font font so i chose something like this something like why did i even choose yeah something like this uh-huh then after that i just increase the font over here so that is how you can do it if you need more help you can just contact me or if you need something like this for your website you can reach out to me so that we'll talk about how we can do it 
So you can reach me on this email address. Mm, when you send, I'm going to put my email address here. Mm, mm, mm. 